Hello everyone, welcome back to Shorecode. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the map function in Python. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw and I make daily Python tutorials, so if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Now let's get right into it. So, the map function is really useful. It allows us to apply a function to each item of an iterable and returns an iterable of results. So the map function has the syntax like this. So map, the first argument is the function, and the second parameter is the iterable. So the first parameter is where you put your function that you would like to use on each item of the iterable, and the second parameter is where you pass in the iterable. So let's just create an example here. I'm going to get rid of this. Let's just create my list equals one, two, two three, four. And then let's have a function define double takes in a parameter of n and then let's return n times 2 so we're just doubling n and then result equals map double my list and then let's print the result so we are creating a list here and then we have a function that just has one parameter which is n and it is returning the double of n then we have a result variable, and that is set to the map function. And we are passing in the double function, notice how we don't have parameters, we're passing in the function object. And we are also passing in our list. Then we are printing result. And if we run it, we can see we get this map object. Now, this map function creates a map object, and this is similar to a generator. If you remember to the start of this series when we were working with generators, when we printed it out we got an object, and this map object, like the generator object, is iterable. So if we make a for loop, for r in result, print r. And now let's run it. We can see that we are printing out the double of each item from our original list. So you see double of 1 is 2, double of 2 is 4, 3, 6. 4 and 8. And we don't have to use a for loop, we could just cast the, the result of a list and print it out. So list result, let's run it, and we get 2468. So the map function takes in two parameters, a function and an iterable. Then the function is applied to every item in the iterable. So we are going through the list, passing in each item to the double function, and returning that result. That is why when we print it out as a list, we get the double of each item in the original list. The double function is taking in each item from our list, doubling it, and returning it. So that's pretty much it for the map function. It was quite a short video today, but the map function is really useful and can come in handy when you are working with lists. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. If you would like to see more Python tutorials from me, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.